What's going on guys, Skyler here back with another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the iPhone 13 and what to expect during Apple's conference next month. So, according to Mac Rumors, the 2021 iPhone lineup will likely look similar to last year's lineup, with four different sizes ranging from 5.4 inches to 6.7 inches. In particular, there will be four options. There will be an iPhone 13 mini at 5.4 inches, an iPhone 13 and 13 Pro at 6.1 inches, and an iPhone 13 Pro Max at 6.7 inches. So while major changes aren't expected, it's likely that there will be a faster processor, so in particular the A-series processor. Additionally, it's possible we're going to see a new 5G chip from Qualcomm along with improved battery life. Focusing on the notch, we've seen rumors for a couple years now about a smaller notch, however it seems like Apple is finally updating it to be more narrow. As great as the changes sound, the last major design seems to be with the display. According to multiple reports, including Mac rumors, Apple plans on introducing a feature that was supposed to launch with the 12 Pro lineup, a 120Hz display. The other interesting feature that's probably going to make its way to the iPhone 13 Pro lineup is new camera upgrades. So according to Bloomberg, Apple is preparing to make iPhones with Pro-focused cam cameras with video updates. So in particular, you know how we have the portrait mode photos where it blurs the background of a photo? It looks like, according to multiple reports, it's going to Apple's going to follow that lead with the videos now. So when you film a video, there's an option to blur the background, which is pretty great because that's quite professional overall. So to give you all a better idea of what portrait video is going to be like, I'm just going to read an excerpt from the Bloomberg report that said, Apple first added portrait mode to the iPhone 7 Plus in 2016, and it quickly became a fan favorite. The feature can put a person in sharp focus while blurring the background in what is known as a bokeh effect, rather. Uh, so that's the portrait mode. For the new iPhones, Apple plans to add the same technique to videos with a feature internally dubbed cinematic video. Like with still photos, the iPhone's depth sensor will create the effect and allow users to change the amount of blur after recording video. So I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty great. That's pretty professional overall. You know, a new ProRes video recording feature will let iPhone users capture clips in a higher quality format that gives editors more control during post-production. So to think, you could really make the iPhone 13 Pro or the 13 Pro Max your main camera. So this is perfect for YouTubers because a lot of people love that blurred effect where you can, you know, kind of like we have in Zoom meetings now, where you can film your face and then everything behind you is blurred. I think that's a pretty neat feature. That's what you can see a lot in uh, high quality cameras. So, I mean, we'll see whether this actually comes to fruition or not, but if it does, I can see a lot of people switching to this phone just for the camera alone. And for a lot of people, this is going to be their main camera. So they're going to do this for, they're going to use this camera for all their photos, their videos, uh, you know, YouTube channels, Instagram, Snapchat, everything. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens over the next few weeks. But it looks like Apple's going to announce this in September alongside the 13 mini and the normal 13 lineup. Uh, beyond that, we're not sure what's going to be announced at the event. It's possible the new Apple Watch will be announced with, with a flatter design along with possibly a new MacBook, but uh, some reports are conflicting on whether that's going to be announced in September or later in October. Uh, but overall, it's going to be a pretty exciting time for Apple because these are where all the drastic changes happen. All right, so that's really it for today's video. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet for you all. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I'll be happy to answer that or focus on it in a new video if you have any suggestions. Uh, but again, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a ton. Also, be sure to subscribe for new content just like this. Also, I've launched a new deals uh, service, so if you, I'm just to give a little backstory. If you're interested in getting some deals on different services uh, or products online, be sure to click the link in the description below. It'll be the first link. Uh, it's called Deals Pass. It'll, it's a pretty much a summary of all the greatest deals that you could find online. Uh, but yeah, I would really appreciate it because I'm trying to grow that a ton. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.